Right, so today we're going to show you how to clean up your exhausts using Harpic Power Plus 10. Now this stuff is magic. Um, I'm not too sure what the special ingredient is, um, but it has got hydrochloric acid in there. So I'd imagine that's the part what strips the rust. Uh, I've done this before, so you can use it on the headers. Obviously my headers, I need to, uh, I need to do those. I need to pull that belly pan out, probably move the front wheel. But we're gonna try and clean this and this pipe because it looks manky. Um, I did I could do with removing the shield, but I haven't got the proper socket to reach that here. I need to get that from my father. Um, now this stuff works on stainless steel. Uh, whatever you do, don't put this on chrome. It will strip the chrome straight back. I had a few um, bolts what were chromed. I put some of this on them and they turned black. So don't use it on chrome. Um, I've never used it on alloy, so I don't know if it works on alloy, so I'm not going to try it. And it says it's corrosive, so I'm not going to get any on the plastic or the paint. I don't know whether it affects paint. I'm not taking that chance. So we're going to have a go at cleaning these up, and it's quite simple. All we need is some gloves, a little sponge pad. I'm going to apply the Harpic to the sponge. I'm just going to coat it on there. And leave it for 10 minutes once 10 minutes is done give it a little bit of a rub and it should clean all that up now I'm not sure if this hard pick is available outside of the UK um, I'd imagine there must be other alternatives it's basically a lime scale remover so use this to remove any lime scale from a toilet or a sink and as you can see it's corrosive and it does say on there that it's corrosive to metal but it gets rid of rust so I'd imagine things like your chrome or any other treated metal um, it might cause a problem so we get the gloves on let's pull a layer on and let's see how it comes out Okay, we'll leave that now for a good 10 minutes. Okay, so that's been a good 10 minutes. So let's just give it a little scrub, see what happens. So obviously you get all the road tar on here. So I'll finish it off cleaning this up and then we'll have a look when it's done so there we go I'll give it a little wash and as you can see already I've only put a slight amount of rubbing on that with the sponge pad Obviously it needs a proper deep one, as you can see down there, there's some bits I haven't got to, but already the difference that's made. And now it looks like it's actually part of the bike, it looks nice. I just need to clean down here a bit more. And that's the magic of Harpic 10. I wouldn't use it on any other type of metal on the bike, only on stainless steel. But it certainly does its job. So there you go.